Right there is uh, F1 Lycan Shepherd Togo and uh, F1 Lycan Shepherd Luna and uh, nine month old uh, F2 Lycan Shepherd Puko. He's uh, seeing them for the first time in several months on their territory. What's up, Togo? Again, Puko's just uh, nine months old, and uh, both these guys are uh, three now. Both uh, Togo and uh, Luna, who are litter mates. They're uh, brothers and sisters of uh, Ulu. We're over here looking at uh, Wrecker's puppies. They were uh, a litter of puppies born to Wrecker uh, and uh, Saga two days ago. Beautiful looking litter. That'll be in another video I'll be posting. Again, that's a nine month old Puko and three year old Togo. That's a three year old Luna. I always love watching the canine communication. Again, Puko's a, a new dog on their territory. He handsome. It's Togo. You can see him in a bunch of my uh, puppy videos. Uh, as a puppy, he stayed at my house until he was about nine weeks. Beautiful day. Get ready to do some barbecuing. Rob's got a new grill we're trying out. Those who are wondering what a Lycan Shepherd is, it's a, a new working breed in the early stages of development. Uh, we're using a uh, working line uh, German Shepherd, uh, Blue Bay Shepherd, and some uh, Malinois in the uh, breed foundation. This will be a general purpose working dog like the uh, German Shepherd, capable of a variety of uh, working tasks from scent and bite work to uh, personal protection. forward to eating those burgers.
drill. Well, that's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get the email notifications when our new videos come out. Again, uh, here filming uh, a litter of two-day-old puppies out of uh, Wrecker. A couple of those puppies will be coming back to the house in uh, about a month and a half, two months, and uh, should be in some future videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Just want to show you how we're eating here at Rob's today. That's my burger. Got a fried egg on top, some mayo, cheese, and bacon. It's looking pretty good. Give you the uh, test bite here. Bam. That is really good. Nice. My wrecker there. Everybody wanting to be my buddy. Did you grab your beans? No, I'll grab those in a minute. Oh, there's got some beans to grab too. That's all. Buy from my burger. The crew. Here's my son Max with his burger. To give it a bite. Let's see what you think about what he got on there. Uh, I got egg, bacon, some fried onions, mayo, some sriracha mayo, ketchup, and pickles. Nice. Pretty awesome. Good. What do you got, Tam? I put egg, tomato, onions, mayo, and then the beans. Awesome. And that right there is some of my uh, gargoyle beans. Some chorizo, or chorizo. They're uh, pretty spicy. I gotta get some of those in a minute, too. Max, do you want your can of coal? Uh, yes, thank you. Watch so they don't get it. Oh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. We uh, eat pretty good when we come over to Rab's. Right there is uh, Steph's. Again, we always eat good when we come yeah, here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Bye. Right there is uh, Rab and Steph's tortoise. So I'd show you her. She's pretty cute, isn't she? Right? <laughs> yeah, they live a long time. I thought I'd give you a glimpse of their uh, tortoise. Very cute. That right there is Saga. This is her uh, two day old litter of wrecker puppies. Aren't they cute? We've got uh, three males and a female.
few days old. They gotta make them go potty. At this age, the puppies can't go potty themselves, so mom licks them to stimulate them to go. That's what you see her doing right now. She's licking them so he can pee. And I think that's kind of nature's way of help keeping the, the area uh, around the, where they're feeding clean. They don't go potty until she's uh, there to clean it up. So that's a little male. He's going to be black with some brindle points, it looks like. He's a black brindle. Rob says that was the first one born. He and these puppies are out of Wrecker. Wrecker now lives with uh, Rob and Steph. And I co-own them with him. Again, two of these puppies I'll be taking back. You'll be able to see them on the channel. Doing some early feedings. Another male down there, he's uh, latched on a boob right now. I don't want to take him off. Or I guess that would be the female, right? Yeah. yeah. So the one still nursing is a female. Puko in the background. Did you forget me? <laughs> yeah. He's out in the garage of the boat. So again, those are the spawns of Wrecker and uh, Saga. And you'll be seeing a lot more of them on the channel as they develop. I want to ask about availability of puppies right now. That won't be determined for a while. I know Rob probably hasn't decided what he's doing with his two. And uh, the same goes for my two. I have a couple other breedings uh, lined up with Bulldogs this uh, year that I'll be getting puppies back from also. So I'll be deciding uh, from those three litters which I'll be keeping permanently. But you will for sure be seeing uh, one or two of these on the channel for a while being raised up until I do find a home for them if I don't keep them. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye from Miss Saga. Myself. Rob, Max, Tammy, and Steph. See ya. <laughs>